Jeet Kune Do is not a creation solely of Bruce Lee, but rather the result of the collective efforts of a group of martial artists. Each practitioner's understanding and application of Jeet Kune Do varies, leading to a diversity of practical styles. Bruce Lee indeed had extraordinary abilities in theory and promotion, but the refinement and development of Jeet Kune Do relied more on the efforts of other martial artists. Dan Ino Santo and Richard Bustello are prominent representatives who did not confine themselves to the framework of Jeet Kune Do. Instead, they took it as part of their learning, combining their own understanding and combat experience to develop their own martial arts systems. Ino Santo later chose to leave due to weariness of internal disputes, to explore the path of martial arts on his own. Other inheritors of Jeet Kune Do either maintained the status quo or failed to keep pace with the development of martial arts. In China, there have not been top-notch masters of Jeet Kune Do. Many so-called Jeet Kune Do masters are actually modern combat athletes who may have only been exposed to Jeet Kune Do, but their main achievements come from training in other martial arts styles. This phenomenon has led to external doubts about the combat capabilities of Jeet Kune Do. Some practitioners of Jeet Kune Do, including senior fans of Bruce Lee, are also disappointed with the current state of Jeet Kune Do. They once had very high expectations for Jeet Kune Do, but after in-depth understanding and practice, they found that the teaching and combat performance of Jeet Kune Do did not meet their expectations. In addition, there are also many problems within the Jeet Kune Do community, including disputes between different factions and controversies over orthodoxy. These internal struggles and disputes not only consume the internal energy of Jeet Kune Do but also make the outside world question its purity and value. The development of Jeet Kune Do abroad shows two trends, one is the progressive faction represented by Aino Santo and Bustillo, who focus on practical combat and continuously absorb and integrate various useful techniques. The other is to stick to tradition, lacking innovation and development. In general, as a martial arts system founded by Bruce Lee, the value and significance of Jeet Kune Do cannot be ignored. At the same time, the development of Jeet Kune Do also faces many challenges, which require continuous exploration and innovation by future generations to truly unleash its potential and carry on Bruce Lee's martial spirit.